Well, what are we seeing here, Richard? What, what you can see here is the site of the Tor Mill, uh, 18th century mill that was um, on this site. It burnt down 1912, but the size of it, it went right from the bridge on the left to the bridge on the right and right back to the rock. Where you can see our inlet now, taking the water in, that's just about where the, um, well, it wouldn't be the Victorians, <laughs> where the original water mill um, took its water from. Okay, shall we take a walk down and have a look? Yeah, let's do that. So Richard, you've been involved in this project from the start, have you? Yeah, from, from before Tours Hydro, who, who own it now, before they existed, I was um, talking with, with the company looking to do the building. Um, we, 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 the local people, decided that we wanted to be the owners of the scheme and we wanted to see the benefit come back to, to new mills. Um, the, the, the company, the social enterprise looking to do the building um, embraced that and, and said well you can have the project effectively and we, we worked with them, uh, built it and it's been running for over three years now. Once we had all the permissions in place, Tours Hydro New Mills Limited was created. Um, first job of that company and it was a, a cooperative uh, for the benefit of the community as soon as that was set up, we launched a prospectus that was to raise money to help the scheme be built. People um, put in share applications. Uh, that, that was hugely successful. We had no idea how well we were going to do with it, but in the end, we got on that first share issue over £100,000 of share applications. They um, were half of them from New Mills itself. The other half, a lot of them could be traced back to people in New Mills. People just heard about us. I mean, we were featured on, on the BBC, uh, nationally and regionally, and people heard about us, thought we were doing a good thing, and, and bought shares. Uh, that enabled us to build this site, so we, we built it with the shareholders' money, with a, a loan and from grant money. Uh, the, the site was built in the summer of 2008 and it was up and running in September 2008. Right, and so the scheme here, it's using a reverse Archimedean screw where Archimedean screws are typically used to pump water up hills. So by turning them round the water flowing down them will turn the shaft, the shaft connected to a generator, the generator turns, generates electricity. Richard? Well the power goes um, from our power engine out over the wooden bridge or under the wooden bridge uh, down the path uh, by the side of the river about a quarter of a mile down the path it goes up the side of the hill and into the back of the co-op food store. And they use the whole lot? And the co-op food store uses all of the electricity that we've got uh, during the day, during the night, they don't need as much as we can generate and then that excess gets put into the grid. Now we're standing on the fish pass. Um, the water's travelling down, it's a channel, not just a drop of water, with fins in it that turn the water around, regurgitating it, it slows 
the flow of the water down, it enabled the fish to swim back up, up this channel. Um, this was in fact paid by the environment agency, paid for by the environment agency. <laughs> the canoe is just something that we took out of the intake. We find all manner of things in there. We found microwaves, uh, traffic cones, tyres, debris from, from people's gardens. That's right. one of our ongoing jobs is to clear uh, the rubbish out of the intake. Volunteers um, here clean the intake. Now we do have a, a long pole with a hook on the end that we'll use to um, take smaller debris out, but it doesn't a lot of the debris can be under the water and so we all don our waders, wade in, always with somebody on, on the side as well because you can get into trouble potentially in the water. Um, and we found actually if you just walk along the bars, moving with your feet, the debris that's low down, that's the most effective way of clearing, clearing it. And how deep is the water there? Uh, it's probably about five foot, it's about up to my top of my chest. If, if you're not careful, you can get water dribbling down the back of your waders and I can trust that's very unpleasant. <laughs> we've had some difficult times here, uh, particularly this last year we, we've really struggled with the lack of water but I'm genuinely uh, optimistic that this next year we're going to solve some of the technical problems that we still have with the site and we will be generating a lot of energy. Already we've had two best months ever um, and just everything seems to be coming together the, the group volunteers have got a lot more experience now we're used to the site technically and we're settling down as a board now and, and, and solving those last few problems and, and smooth running will be the order of the day in the future. So Richard we're in the Heritage Centre and this is a model of the mills on the River Goit and the river set. That's, That's right. uh, where the current turbine is located, yeah? Yeah, and, and you're looking there at Tor Mill as it was in 1884, just as they were building the big road bridge, the Union Road Bridge. Over here we have um, a display, this is a radio link that, that um, well, it was kindly donated to us. Um, it's one of the lovely advantages you can have when, when, you, when you start a community project that you don't know who's around, uh, the European sales manager for Radius happens to live in New Mills and we had no idea, but he, he offered this radio link uh, for free and it gives you real-time power output information up here in the Heritage Centre um, being fed directly from, from site. 